Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and in this video, I'm going to talk about carrying guns in your RV when you're headed to Mexico or Canada. And I know this is a sensitive subject, controversial, but I'm not going to give any opinions here. I'm just going to tell you what I have learned from the limited amount of research that I've done. And I know that Mexico will not allow anyone to bring in a handgun or ammunition. And being caught trying to sneak one in is a serious offense that will land you in jail with a huge fine. And I don't know what else they might do. And the only way they'll let you bring in a long gun into Mexico is if it's for hunting purposes and you have to be prepared with documentation of approval that you've applied to get a permit. Now I carry a pistol in my motorhome at all times and the reason why I carry it is because basically I own it and pretty much everything I own I carry around in my motorhome all the time wherever I go. And I'm now leaving Texas on a three-month trip, which will include about three weeks in Mexico. And I had intended to leave my pistol at my brother's house in Texas, which I was there just last week, <laughs> and I completely forgot all about it. So here I am headed to Mexico with a handgun in my motorhome, which is a big no, no. <laughs> so, I f have two options. Number one is that I could leave my handgun at a gun shop and they will store it for you and your ammunition for whatever period of time until you get back from your trip and you're ready to pick it up. And gun stores will charge you a storage fee for by the day or week or month and I think it's something like around 20 30 or 40 dollars a month to store a handgun and your ammo the other option is to have your gun and your ammo shipped somewhere else to a relative or someplace you can if you live somewhere you can just ship it to your home somewhere where there's someone gonna be there to pick it up. So what I decided to do was package up my gun and my ammo and take it to UPS and I had it addressed to be delivered to my brother in Texas which only cost me like $18 for the UPS shipping fee. So that way I don't have to worry about it and at first I was thinking about where could I hide it in my motorhome where the Mexican authorities would be least likely to find it <laughs> and then I found out that sometimes they will scan your vehicle with x-rays I think they don't do it if you're just going in with a car but if you're going in with a van or a truck or an RV chances are they will scan it for guns or drugs or whatever it is that is contraband so I didn't want to risk that <laughs> so I decided to ship it back to my brother now going into Canada the only way they'll let you bring a handgun into Canada is if you're bringing it for competition purposes and you have to have that well documented and Canada will allow you to bring in a long gun for either shooting competitions or for hunting. But again, you have to have a permit. So getting caught sneaking an unpermitted gun into Canada is almost as bad as doing the same thing in Mexico. And I'm going to be dealing with the Canada problem next year when I'm going up to driving my motorhome to Alaska. I'm, I'm not going to take my gun with me on that trip either. So, if you're headed to Mexico 
or Canada with a gun that you could likely get in trouble for carrying across the border, definitely don't do it unless you have the proper permits. And remember, your two options are to either drop it off at a gun dealer in the United States for storage until you come back out of the country to pick it up, or you ship it to someone where they will keep it until you get back to where they are to pick it up, or they can ship it back to you to where you happen to be. And if you don't have a relative you can do that with, a lot of full-time RVers like myself will use a mail forwarding service. There are several mail forwarding services that are commonly used by RVers to receive mail from. You can ship it to them and they will hold on to it for you to either come there and pick it up or they will reship it to you when and where you tell them to. So those are your options. I hope this has helped you. Good day, folks.